Hi guys, today I'd like to talk about this Raspberry Pi case. Transparent, um, very low cost but very nice casing for Raspberry Pi. It come in this, so you get fans, Brussels fan and some accessory. Let's take a look at the outlook. So you have a lot of ventilation hole for the Brussels fan at the top and at the bottom you have holes for mounting on the wall ventilation fan and also for bumpers at one side you have a access space for micro SD card and here you have a tiny slot for the DSi display uh, cable and beside the display cable I think this is for CSI camera, flexi cable, and at the other side you have a tiny slot for the GPIO, and here of course is for USB, USB, and also Ethernet port, and the last side is micro S, uh, micro B for the power, HDMI, and also the audio and video composite port. So let's open it up. Okay, managed to open it up. So yep, quite solid. So you have some screw. I think it's to secure the brushless fan and some rubber bumper for the bottom. Brushless fan. I'll show you how to connect also later on but this is optional if you don't want to install it just leave it and of course I open up the screw and also bumper so here I have a Raspberry Pi 3B plus with a camera connected so I can show you where the camera cable should be coming out from the case now let's install it uh, you want to remove the micro SD card because the micro SD card is blocking the installation. So just make sure you insert the HDMI first, you know, this side first. So just bend it a bit. So and try to squeeze it into all this port first and press down here. And just to make sure if you install it correctly, all the ports should be nicely aligned. Okay. And you can insert your micro SD card from the side hole. Okay. Just like this. Okay. So that's done. Now if you want to just close it up. And you don't want to install the Brussels fan, it's up to you. I think it's over here, sorry. So it should be the fan should be on top of the processor. So you're done. If you want to secure it, you can use the long screw. And if you notice there's only one hole here. So I will not be screwing it up because I want to mount the fan. Just to make sure that the wire connection is sufficient. It's long enough for you to connect the GPIO. And again, there are a few pole with screw hole. So you use the short screw screw the screw it in so one screw is over here another screw is over here and of course to use the fan you need the power so make sure you know the GPIO, uh, 5 volt and ground, uh, hopefully you can see it, it's over here, let me just show the color, 
you know, the red color is five foot and the black color is ground. Second and the uh, fourth and the sixth pin. Okay. And of course you can screw the screw over here and you're done. Okay. Thanks for watching. Hopefully it's helpful. If you like it, give it a thumb up and subscribe to our channel. Do share this video. Bye.